Hello, I'm Alex from phpacademy.org and this is a video for the new Boston. Uh, in the video we're going to be talking about PHP file handling. Now you can see at the moment I've created um, a single PHP file called file.php. I haven't named it index.php for the purpose of this tutorial so we can keep a track of inside this directory. Now let's open up our text editor and we can start writing out um, in this file. Now PHP file handling is um, on the basis of first of all opening the file then what we do is we want to either I mean in this in this example I'm going to be writing data to a file but you may want to read data in so there are different um, attributes if you like you can give um, when you open the file. The first one is W and this is for writing so obviously it stands for writing the second one is uh, R which is for reading so reading and the third one is A which means append so or appending depending on what you want however you want to say it so obviously the first one we're going to use to the first one which is W we're going to use to be writing to a file R we're going to be reading from a file and A we're going to be appending to a file so basically adding to a file so let's get rid of this okay so how do we start up the first thing we need to do is create a handle which will open the file now even if the file doesn't exist you can see at the moment inside here no other files except file.php exist we create something called a handle which uses the fopen function um, to create the file even if it doesn't exist so the first argument we give it is the file name itself then we use a comma and the second argument we give is whether we want to either write to the file, read from the file or append to the file. So in this instance I want to write to the file so I'm going to use R, uh, sorry I'm going to use W. I want to write to the file and the file I'm going to be, the file I'm going to call um, is going to be called names.txt. Uh, so it's a text file so we can open it up and we can view it as um, a text. Um, okay, so now if we execute this PHP script, or if we run this PHP script rather, uh, let's just refresh here um, and click on file.php. Nothing has happened as per yet. If we visit, go back and refresh, you can see that a file has been created um, called names.txt. So we can click on it, there's nothing in it at the moment. So the next stage is to come down. And what we need to do is some, to write some data to the file. So we don't need to use a variable for this. We've already created our handle in a variable up here. And it's really important to create this as a variable because when we want to write to the file, we need to um, address the uh, handle. So I'm just going to type f write, um, use this function. And in, in the brackets, I want to write uh, first of all the handle so I want to specify um, where I'm writing to so I want to write to names.txt and then I want to specify the data that I'm writing so I'm just going to type in Alex now um, what this is going to do is um, we're going to obviously uh, reiterate the code this is going to run as well it won't duplicate obviously the file it will just create the same file and it will come and it will write Alex to it now if we come in and refresh and click on file now we if we go back and we click on names you can see that Alex has been written now you may think oh now what we can do now is um, even if we um, change this we want to say write Billy because we've still got this uh, right um, here all it's going to do is um, it's going to uh, reopen the file and it's going to write again so unless we do something like the following Billy like that um, every time we're going to be opening the file so now if we uh, come back and click on file.php and we go back again to names you can see that it's written two names now now say I want this on a line by line basis how do I go about this now you need to append on um, in it has to be um, it absolutely has to be um, double quotation marks and you do a backslash and an N and this creates a new line 
So now let's uh, go back, uh, click on file.php again, click on names, and you can see that a new line exists between the end of this and the start of that. So it's written to a new line. So we can write as many names down this list as we want. Um, so these are the basics of writing um, to a file with PHP. In some of the other lessons, we're going to learn how to read data from a file, uh, and we can also mess around with um, showing it as array elements. So, for example, Alex would be an element in an array, and Billy would be an element in an array. Now, one final note, just to um, just before we end the tutorial, is the importance of the f close function, and you need to specify in here the uh, file that you've already opened. So, we've opened handle here. Um, and closing the file just closes this connection with the file um, so it is, doesn't remain open. So this is just close the file. Um, we can echo after here, let's say written. And uh, let's go back, click on file, written. We can go to names.txt and we can say that these two names have already been written. So uh, in the next part of the, um, of the file, the handling tutorials, we're going to learn how to read from a file. In fact, we could probably learn, I mean, beforehand, you might need to think about how you want to append to a file. This is always going to open it uh, and write the content here that, you know, uh, it's going to sort of create a new file. So even if names do exist within this, if I was to under here open um, the file again, and rewrite some names, it would just erase everything. So um, I think in the next tutorial we can look at appending data to a file.